Smooth Gang, what's going on, y'all? Boys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, truckers and truckettes, how y'all doing out there, man? Like I promised y'all, I came with another video. Um, Basically, on my first week out. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and smack the subscribe button, man. Trust me, I won't fail you, man. Like I said in my previous video, if you guys want to see certain content, drop it down in the comments. But, um, yeah, this is my first week out on this new Family Dollar account, man. Kind of nervous a little bit um because i don't know what to expect um i see that there's no really no training on this no real videos on training so i'm partnering up with Brittany, who's at usa because i told her you know i do youtube she knows that um there's a couple other drivers that know me that's on uh that's at usa that i've already brought to the account so guys if you want to come over to the account um just go ahead and put this code in when you when you call them in. I mean, we call in. You talk to Brittany, Dow Fleet, and I. Give them this code right here, and then she'll know exactly. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it if y'all do do it. You know, um, cause I'm gonna give you guys a lot of information. Um, that sun is beaming. Hold on, y'all. There we go. Um, but there's a lot of people I see. I'm at the account now, left off from my last video. Uh, I see that there's a lot of um CRST people here, a lot of uh Schneider people here, a couple more different owner ops who have their own um their own trucks. I've even seen um Landstar, um Warner, and a couple more USA truck drivers. Uh, I got to meet one named Kia. Kia, shout out to you, man. Hey, y'all, Kia crazy. She got a whole tarantula in her truck. I, I don't know about that, but um, she cool, though. She, uh, I gave her a couple pointers on, you know what I'm saying, at the end of it from what I've got. So I pass it on, you know what I'm saying. It, that's what me, information not get brought to me for free, you know what I'm saying. Unless the person put me up on some serious, serious game, then I'll pass it on for free. I don't be with that. Oh, you gotta pay me for you got you got people out here that wanna pay you to uh for information. But this is a great opportunity for owner ops, um, especially at USA because do a whole nother video on that. It's been crazy over here. But um yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of different companies over here, man. And I'm seeing I'm I've been asking a couple different people, you know, like, you know, what to expect and you know, I'm just trying to network and stuff like that. But um, this is a great account to be on as far as like I say being the owner op you're going to get a set pay every week as long as you're doing what you're doing um, this one guy uh, was telling me basically he um, kind of was milking the situation which he didn't have to because how they set up um, you don't really have to so he was milking the situation and end up getting fired so I I see that as a great opportunity as far as um, money wise you're not burning no fuel um yeah you're not really even burning no fuel really you the most i've put um probably for this whole trip was probably six or seven hundred dollars in fuel that's it you already know right now some people are looking at 14 18 two thousand dollars twenty four hundred dollars in fuel right now running across this damn uh from state to state but um I ain't gonna hold y'all. Let's get into it, man. Y'all see what I've been doing this whole week. Guys, I done made it to my first family dollar. I'm about to go back in, unload real quick. All right, here we go, guys. These are the boxes. This is how they stack them up, man. I went ahead and set up my rollers already. You feel me? Use those totes. You're gonna need those, even the empty ones. But this is how I set up my rollers. You basically use the totes to set the rollers on it. Place the boxes on it and slide them down, man. It's pretty simple, man. Okay. 
Yeah, this truck was supposed to be here yesterday. I normally work nights, but I've, I've worked three days in a row because we thought this truck was coming, so I was just running it by myself. Okay. Uh, so. You still do it? No, you yeah, good. first day too but he didn't know how to do none of this and we were his third stop and i was like man you gotta get this down packed or you're gonna be uh well, no, I learned you're gonna be feeling terrible by the end of the day yeah because he was running he was walking from where you are all the way up here he didn't set none of this up because i didn't know it was, that was my first truck running so i was like i, I don't have none of this no, I, I learned quick yeah I'm going to yell out heavy when the box is heavier because I know it's some small boxes like this and you, they come down and you're thinking it's light. Right. seven of them on there and just slide the whole thing down but we getting it y'all we almost done look at the wall back there all right y'all i'm on my last stop man y'all pray for me i feel my body like a <laughs> full of sweat but is what I wanted so we got to get used to it stick to it man I'm finished now I'm about to head back to the DC to uh, probably grab my next load I don't know when it go out but um, grab my next load and 
get back to it, man. It's fairly easy, man, if you make your life easy. If you know how to, you got history of this already, like far as uh, touching loads of, you know what I'm saying, working in warehouses and stuff like that, unloading trucks. Same thing, man. It just, you got to um, work smarter, not harder, man. But boy, let me tell you, <laughs> it ain't no easy work. You feel me? I, I definitely didn't make, they definitely didn't make it easier for me because when I got down to the waters, every store said, oh, you just bring the whole pallet in. So I'm just thinking like, okay, maybe some of the, tra I know some of the trailers got the lift gate or whatever the case may be um, to bring them down, but I ain't have a pallet jack nor a lift gate. So I had to send them down one by one. <laughs> so, man listen here but i mean days done work done uh i know i'm gonna be sore <laughs> i don't even know it. Well, i ain't got, i don't like taking medicine so i ain't like i could take you know something for it but man listen here we're gonna go ahead and head back to the dc man i'll see y'all in a bit man boy i'm tired though I'm about to grab me something to eat i know i done lost some weight you know i know i lost weight not even from this, from what I've been doing before, my little workouts and stuff like that, drinking. I've been, uh, to y'all don't know, I've been drinking um, that Keisha K.O. tea. I'm going to do a separate video on that. Because, boy, if I ever drunk that tea, y'all know. I'm going to do a separate video on that, man. So y'all can see what it is. But um, see y'all in a second, man. I'm about to head to uh, back to the D.C. The next day. Boy, smooth thing, boy. Boy. Oh, boy. I just tried to get up and pee. Man. Oh, my neck! My back! My neck and my back! Oh, I want a hundred and fifty thousand! But we can start out of court right now for twenty bucks. Man, get Boy, I feel like I just got hit by a goddamn freight train. You hear me? Oh my God, I'm stuck, damn near paralyzed. Oh, every muscle in my body hurt, muscles in my hand even hurt. Dog, this is crazy. I know I was gonna be so, but not this damn so. My hands hurt, I guess, from grabbing the boxes. Muscles in my f my foot hurt. I don't know if I'm stepping on. Oh, I don't know. My back, the worst, though. I just tried to get up. Mm-mm-mm. That wasn't that nice. Boy. But I, I got a couple days to rest, though. I'm gonna get right. I ain't complaining. It's that, it's that good soreness though. You know you're doing something, so. Boy. Okay, got perfume. Jesus. I don't take no medicine. I ain't got no medicine to take, but some Advil, but. Man. I'll see y'all in a second.